For the spark plugs, we need a spark plug socket, a ratchet, an extension, and a flat tip screwdriver. You want to perform this task when the engine is cold. Now these are the spark plug wires and they all lead to the spark plug distributor cap. Reach down, wiggle the boot, twist it, and pull it off. Be sure you only grab the boot at the end and not the spark plug wire. Take the spark plug socket and loosen the spark plug out. You want to change these so that they aren't dirty or worn. Put your new spark plug in the socket and start the plug in by hand about a quarter of the way in. Take your extension and use it to turn the spark plug in further. Then attach the socket and screw it in so that it's snug. Then give it about an eighth of a turn. Now be careful, you don't want to break the spark plug off into the engine. Now remove the socket wrench and put the spark plug wire back on and you'll hear a click when the plug is put on properly. Repeat this procedure for the rest of the spark plugs. You'll need to remove the air filter housing to get to them. This is the distributor cap. There are two screws that hold the distributor cap in place. Go ahead and unscrew them and move the distributor cap to the side. This piece in the center is the distributor rotor. To replace it, loosen out the screw under the lip of the rotor and just pull it straight off. Replace the rotor if you see any burn marks or cracks. Take your new rotor, snap it in place, and tighten the screw back in. You want to replace the distributor cap as well if you see any signs of damage, such as burn marks or cracks or what looks like graphite pencil marks. Also, make sure this button in the center is intact. Slip the distributor cap back over the rotor and put the screws back on. If you need to replace the distributor cap, just snap off the spark plug wires from the old distributor cap and put them on the new cap being careful to put them in the same posts that you took them off of. It makes it easier if you remove and replace each wire one at a time so as to be sure that the wires are put on correctly. 